All right, this is pretty basic and straightforward if you don't have your rear, rear wheel in here. Um, you can do it with it on through here, through the top, but even then, it's best to pull the exhaust off. So the exhaust is technically easier, but then you have a gasket that you might have to replace. Uh, you need the four millimeter. After you get the air filter off, mine wasn't even on, which is usually just two Phillips. So loosen these bolts. Uh, I have a 14 millimeter wrench. It helps to get the cable off. I obviously don't have a gas tank. Wasn't I have one? It wasn't on it when I got it, which makes it all so much easier. Funny thing is the gasket looks nice on here. Keep the bolt bolts. You're gonna reuse those. Usually there's little locking washers which I have. I'll have to get extras here. Just twist the top. That one was loose. It's not good. I never planned on reusing this carburetor. This thing sat so long. You could always rebuild them, clean them up, whatever, but the fuel line doesn't look too bad. Huh. I feel I might be all right to reuse. I don't. I didn't plan on it, but it's pretty nasty. So where did I put the new one? Brand new. I always try to get the ones with the gasket. Costs an extra couple bucks, but if you try to buy just a gasket on eBay, it's like five dollars. Alright, I'm just gonna throw this whole thing in there. Nice and new. A few times I have actually tried to reuse the old stuff. And that's not a good idea. That never seems to work out right. <laughs> Just a word to the wise or unwise. Oh, jeez. Of course, when you're trying to do this as quick as possible, without editing the video, everything takes crap on you. Oh, great, this one's zip tied. That is going to make this one not so fun to do. You basically got to pull the spring down. Or up, not down. So you can get that cable out of there. I don't know if you guys can even see this. There you go. I even replaced the spring. The top, the rubber, nah, I'll do the rubber boot too, since this one's tore up. Alright, just throw all those parts. I always keep those around as extra parts, because you never, ever know. Oh, that's neat. I've never had the metal come off. Just push the cable in. All the way in. Squeeze down on the spring again. Make sure your washer is in there and aligned properly. Otherwise, it's a pain. I've done many of these, so that's not too hard for me. Sometimes it can be, though. It only goes in one way. 
There's a high side and a low side. Just look at the side of it, you can see. You can use pliers if you need to on that, but it gouges the sides of it up. Now, I put the gasket there and at least one bolt in. first. Line up the hole. Try to get at least a few threads started. Flip up the gasket. Get it lined up. Can't seem to do. There you go. It is nice to do it without a rear tire. Mine was not on when I got it, so it wasn't too much of a worry or difficult for me. I have taken them off before, especially the ones that have the rear splash fenders. You have to take the tire off usually to take that off. Not always, but usually. Choke works. Cool. And then, you know, new fuel lines, new uh, clamps. I'll put a new fuel filter on. You just kind of line it all up and put a new gas tank in. And that's it for a carb, pretty much. Nice and easy. All right. I didn't show putting on the hoses and the fuel filter. Pretty self explanatory. Um, these little crappy clamps, I don't have any regular clamps right now. Uh, crappy, I just use zip tie here and up here, crappy clamps on the filter. Um, make sure that's out of the way and doesn't hit the exhaust. I barely had enough fuel, so it should be enough fuel to just fire it up. Um, let's see if I can. the bowl up. The fuel filter was already full. check on the clutch and everything before I uh, take off for a spin but she's coming close for the race against the electric pocket bike stay tuned thanks for watching